got it. Oh, 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 this is a giant. Oh my gosh, this is a giant. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh my gosh, guys. <laughs> Try not to get bring too much attention on myself. But look at that fish. Oh my gosh. We are fishing right at spawn. Oh, she's just moving up. Oh, this is like the magic day. She's been caught before, she's got a hole in her mouth. Look at that fish. Oh, I hope I got my scale. Oh, man, I'm going to put her in the box, let her rest, find my camera, find the scale. Oh. <laughs> Oh, so I was just fishing. I just got the camera in the back of the boat just make just in case something like this happened. But let me kind of explain to you what's going on. I got a wind blowing into this bank. The bass are moving up to spawn. Um, I threw a chatterbait. It's a green and purple chatterbait up into a bush I could see or a brush pile I could see right here. I got it hung up. Couldn't get it loose, couldn't get it loose. Pulled the power poles up, went over to the, started heading over to the bush and I felt a thump and a fish took it off of the bush for, for me. Tried to set the hook, fish had already dropped it. And that tells me because the fish picked it up and dropped it that there's probably a bed right there. So I, I power pulled back down and I just kept making repeated casts at that, at that brush pile over and over again. I got it passed through the brush pile, halfway to the boat and I got hit and I missed it. So I dropped the rod, let the bait fall to the bottom, picked it back up or pulled the, pulled the line back tight and there was a fish on, I set the hook in 7.4 pounds. Not bad, not bad at all. Whoo, I'm still shaking, but uh, I think I'm gonna try to figure that something out, use that fish to try to figure something out. I'm um, in three and a half feet of water, maybe that has something to do with it, but I'm just gonna slowly cover this whole area and see if there's not some more bass over here spawning or getting ready to spawn. Wow, awesome. Off of that stump. Boy, they're not hitting hard today, though. Whew. Nice little buck bass. All I'm doing now is taking a square bill. This is a uh, Spro Little John and uh, looking for dark spots in the water. I had to go back to my truck and get my sunglasses uh, so I had a good pair of polarized glasses to look in the water looking for stumps bumping stumps with a square bill and uh, they're not hitting really hard it just kind of gets sluggish gets smushy and uh set the hook and i've missed a couple but that was the first one i've caught so far since i got my sunglasses this is a big one Oh, this is a big one. Oh my gosh, this is another big one. I can't even turn him. I just hope I have him hooked because he is way out there on the chatterbait. I gotta go to the back of the boat. Sorry, guys. Oh, it's another freaking giant. Guys, this is a public fishing area not a private lake oh look at this oh oh it just popped right out oh god oh, look at that fish oh wow on that chatterbait again oh my gosh that's awesome all right guys so like I said, this is a public fishing area. This is, I mean, 
it seems like every 20 casts I pull up somebody else's fishing line. So what I'm doing is, is something different than everybody else. I, everybody else that I've seen beats the banks, go along, cruise along the bank, throw at what they see, stuff like that. Well, not me. I, um, I am pulled off, a cast off of the bank. I'm sitting in about eight feet of water, throwing up into three, bringing it through that four and five and six foot depth and I'm getting bit somewhere in that depth. Every single bite, and I've only gotten four, four bites today, but every bite has been in that, that, that deeper water. If you're not pulling out and trying something different in a place like this, you're not gonna catch the fish. You just, it's gonna be tough as nails because everybody else is beating the bank and all these big fish are sitting out on that first drop waiting to pull up and spawn, so freaking awesome. All right, I'm gonna call it a day. What a day it was, two sevens. One a little shy, seven and a half. I think the second one was 7.14. Hmm. I needed a day like this. But uh, like I always say, be sure to introduce somebody to fishing. Introduce them to my channel. Let me help you teach them how to fish. More importantly, get out on the water, go out and catch some fish. And have a great day. And I hope everybody has a day like I did today. We'll see you.